up, y'all? Season two is upon us finally, and we're back with fucking high and hungry. That's right, you guessed it. We took a little break, but a couple things changed up. What do people like eating or snacking on when they're watching entertainment? Or as long as I've been going to theaters, people fucking love popcorn while they're watching their entertainment. We're going to this hidden gem in the valley that specifically specializes in making different flavored popcorn, but not just any regular flavored popcorn. We're talking about frozen popcorn, yep. Frozen like ice cream, nitrous, plus popcorn, plus the munchies, equals a new episode of High and Hungry. So sit back. <coughs> so sit back, roll yourself a joint or a blunt, Light up a fucking bowl, hit that bong, fucking torch up a dab, eat a fucking edible, do whatever the fuck you have. <laughs> This is actually the world's first frozen popcorn. And when I mean, I know you guys are probably thinking like frozen popcorn, is it like mochi? Is it like, you know, is it like ice cream? No, it's not. It's kind of like ice cream. When you walk in here, you see the actual, you get the same Baskin Robbins, kind of like a, you know, or ice cream shop kind of setup where you have the, the frozen, you know, the refrigerators or the freezers, but uh, it's all different kinds of popcorn. <clears throat> Going. As I was saying, <laughs> it's a combination of nitrous plus some popcorn plus probably <laughs> every single terp you can think of. So just like ice cream comes in many flavors like strawberry, vanilla, pineapple, coconut, every si even. <laughs> However, you can go ahead and come in here really high like I did and try about. I don't know if I can try all of these flavors, man. I have to check my freaking uh, my freaking blood sugar after this man you know what I mean it's a lot of fucking sweets but I'm gonna choose the top ones and we're gonna see how this is actually made it's over 60 flavors 60 flavors all right this is the world's first frozen popcorn and I'm not the, I'm just late to the party like a regular stoner but uh you know this place is recognized by KTLA it's been in the newspaper you can when you google this for uh, world's frozen pop world's first frozen popcorn it's not just gonna be my high and hungry shit popping up. It's gonna be like, like you know, news people, fucking uh, other different articles about it. Like this place is popping, very much like the popcorn. Now uh, I gotta wait for the clerk. Oh. <coughs> before everything you gotta just take it down <coughs> so in front of me I got one of the frozen poppers team members it's the homie Keegan right here <coughs> what's up man so <coughs> tell us about every, how many flavors you have right here bro oh right now there's like 60 flavors up but I think he's got like over 350 flavors so those are like recurring like when the holidays come around any season so I have like so it's very much ones. it's very much like kind of like Almost like the beer effect or the candy effect, you know, where like certain candies come out at a certain season. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <coughs> Are these like your hottest sellers that you have in the front? Uh, most of them. You'll see like on the right side of the board, those are like always fluctuating flavors. But yeah, most of the ones that are up there are our best sellers. Um, you get like root beer floats. I like root beer floats. I was, I was going to say like, it must be hard because I know there's at least over 60 in-house flavors. So... Oh, when, yeah. <coughs> for, I, I imagine a lot of people when they come in here, 
they don't like they're like yo what the fuck i don't know i don't know they're tripping, yeah, yeah they're like i don't know what to choose i've never had it i've had ice cream before but i actually haven't had this so what what do what do people tend to lean towards for what's like their number one flavor um, over here like uh I know that's hard, anything but, like, peanut butter sells out for the most part and then there's like a chili lime cheddar that one we're always making a regular caramel, can't go wrong with that one. Uh, Do you have some of the peanut butter yeah, right here? of course, it's called Papa's Peanut Butter. Papa's Peanut Butter. All right. We got a peanut butter marshmallow, that one's called Half Baked. It's kind of like the Abba Zap bar. Personally, I like the fruit flavors. It's almost like it has a glaze of peanut butter. This tastes literally like Captain Crunch, but like peanut butter, man. Like this literally tastes like frozen Captain Crunch. And <clears throat> you would have thought like frozen popcorn because popcorn is normally like, it's popped, it's popped hot. You would have thought it was like, hey, I wonder if it's gonna taste good or it's not. this shit's fucking amazing, you know, like. I know this, this reminds me of the cheese popcorn you used to get like at the, at the liquor store. You know, the one that's like hanging towards the end, it costs like a dollar. But like way, this is way more fancier. It looks like it's gonna taste like hot Cheetos with like some chili on it. I mean the, I, it does not taste like hot Cheetos. This tastes like, it has a nice chili taste after it, but man, this is crazy. Like this is, is this is supposed to be chili lime, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one's called Aztec Gold. This, um, this literally tastes like cheddar with like a little sweetness to it. I don't know, it's like a mixture of different flavors. It's like a Dr. Pepper or popcorn. The third one we're always making is s'mores. So uh, it's called Sticky Icky S'mores. Let me see if I, the chunks right here, they get like, uh, what am I trying to think of? Lucky you, Charms, you get you, nice and crunchy. Do you have a lot of like um, stoners that come in here? Like once they, oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. So it's not, see, it's perfect for you high and hungry people. If you want to come and do a vacation in California or even like around the LA County area, believe me, just look at the season. Look at season one and you could just vacation and eat off, but set it off with this right here. This is s'mores and it's, see look, it's not, this is not like the popcorn you get at the mall with the fucking chicken or whatever, the popacoy or whatever the fuck that shit is. This is, if you're thinking, oh, I can get this at the mall, no you can't. This is like, all right, so I know I make these, these like, these combination of food, but it's like ice cream, Fuck popcorn, and this is what they created. And it's, I mean, I don't know what these chunks are, but this is, this tastes like s'mores. So these are like the top three popular flavors you would say? Yeah, actually, I mean, there, there's a bunch that are popular. Like some week we'll sell out more of this one, just depending on what customers come in. I feel like we hit like every single taste bud. We went from like peanut butter, and then we went to like the sweet and sour. So we hit a different taste bud there. And then we have a s'more one. I mean, hey, what's this one right here? And then we have cheese popcorn. So it's not, uh, it's not powdered cheese that we put on it. We actually melt down real cheese. Damn. So, oh, oh, yeah. Fuck. I need like a little cup of that one because I actually oh, I used to, you. my favorite thing. My favorite thing when I was younger was getting the, getting the fucking cheesy popcorn after school and stuff like that. The bag and this, this the color of it literally looks like something out of like the Pulp Fiction suitcase. <laughs> oh, man, Ray, get one before I fuck this up. These? Yo, I think if you're gonna come here, you have to be prepared to spend like a couple, like at least an hour or two. I ain't, I'm not gonna lie, spend at least an hour or two here. But fucking buy like some of these flavors. Like you have to take some of this home. Like this, I'm taking bags of this like Chile, Chile one. This is like cheese and spiciness. This shit is delicious. This popcorn is really delicious. I gotta tell you guys, high hungry approved. I'm gonna take some of this back because I can't, I can't honestly try it. But the s'more ones, out of the park. Peanut butter ones, out of the park. Anything of the cheese ones is fucking out of the park. And you, if you even wanted some breakfast ones, they had that cranberry one, which fucking tastes like a granola bar in the beginning. I almost wanted to see if you can actually put this shit in like a bowl in the morning and eat this shit for breakfast. Because I know somewhere I looked up that popcorn was originally uh, designed, it was originally thought of as a breakfast food. I, I fucking love this popcorn so much. 
We're gonna go ahead and find out how it's gonna be made. Fuck that. We're going to the back. The Wizard of Popcorn. Hey! Well, look at look. That's how that's how you know somebody that gets stoned had to think of such a great <laughs> idea like this. <coughs> I couldn't have invented it without being stoned. You heard it here. This is California Frozen Poppers. I'm what they call the Mad Popper. Known here on my arm of popcorn tattoo. But uh, I invented the world's first frozen popcorn about eight years ago. Um, opened up this store about five years ago. And we also do medicated popcorn. This is what they call an air popcorn machine. So we don't use any oil. It's all air pop with hot air. This is where it all starts right here? Absolutely, so this is where it all starts. I'll let this get to a certain degree and then we'll put a little bit of popcorn in. Awesome, I got it. From that process, we take it into a bin, we pour it into our turner. This is called a turner? Yep. This is going to go onto here, where I'm going to tumble it. <laughs> I know a weed started it, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't all just like, hey, I'm a smoke and frozen popcorn. You're like, what? What started this? Did you just like, were you like, is your family in the popcorn business? Or it actually like... did. It came from my uh, grandmother. My great grandmother was a caramel maker. And she used like to make. Like raw caramel? Yeah, like she would make like caramel candy and caramel shit. And it skipped a generation to my mom who put it onto popcorn. Um, she only made caramel popcorn, but everyone used to ask us like where they could buy it. So they couldn't buy it because my mom was fucking making it in her little kitchen. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, so one day I was fucking at home and I was looking into popcorn. I realized that all the flavored popcorn companies in the world used oil. So I, I realized they used oil because it's their adhesive. Well, I didn't need to use oil. I could air pop it and use caramel that my family made and make that my adhesive. So this started out with just like caramel popcorn. Caramel. So this is the caramel process right here. And I'm waiting for it to get to the correct temperature, which is actually so hot that if it gets on your skin, which it gets on our skin almost every day, uh, if you don't remove it right away, it'll burn right to your fucking bone. So be careful here. We're introducing here a new flavor that we've never done before. This one here is for Mr. E-Zone and the entire crew over there. And it is grape. Grape soda. Left up to him to name. Here we go with some grape soda. Popcorn. Do you guys see the, the purple grains on there? Like, Yo, this little really tastes like. You see this, people? Look at this, I get to try both. Put them in for a minute. This one, when it's hot, it almost tastes like popcorn grape taffy. But this is what the finished product is like, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's 100% frozen. Did I hit it? Did I hit it? That is on fucking point right there. This, all right, first of all, you can't even taste the tartness in it. It tastes more like, I want to say what kind of grape. Um, the, it, it's the outer shell of the Tootsie Pop. That's, that's exactly what it fucking tastes like right there. It tastes like the outer shell of the purple Tootsie Pop. You know the one with the fucking the chocolate in the middle exactly, that nobody really likes, bro. but, but when, you're, when you're a kid, you want to eat them all the time? You want to eat that shit? This, all right, first of all, you can't even taste the tartness in it. It tastes more like, I want to say what kind of grape. Um, the, it, it's the outer shell of the Tootsie Pop. That's, that's exactly what it fucking tastes like right there. It tastes like the outer shell of the purple Tootsie Pop. You know the one with the fucking the chocolate exactly, in the middle that nobody really likes? Bro. But, but when, you're, when you're a kid, you want to eat them all the time? You want to eat that shit? This is what it tastes like, people. This is going to be available here. Exclusively at the shop. We might even have, we might even start out more flavors here, but but this right here is a high and hungry exclusive. If you need another reason to come down here, look at what they made on the spot. 
Possibility. You gotta come here baked. Don't say you saw high hungry and you don't come here baked. Cause this right here, high and hungry, episode one, season two, the frozen poppers, and you guys seen it here.